Sunrise, the start of every new day, and the name of our leopard catamaran. Come and join Russ and Margie as they jump in to their adventure, sailing the world. As we were wanting to get to the Southern Lao Group, we left Savu Savu in the morning and made our way around to this beautiful bay, Mabatu Harbour. Um, for our first stop and we spent a beautiful day and a half, two days here um, kayaking around and swimming and snorkeling um, and just generally relaxing and waiting for the weather to move on further. breakfast we jumped into our kayaks and paddled around this beautiful spectacular harbour. Um, the very big circular pool in the middle with a uh, cyclone rated mooring. Um, the whole area was owned by an Australian guy who had a couple of houses up on the hill and a big Nordhaven 72 I think it was and, uh, and he'd put some cyclone rated moorings in there. Um, whilst we were paddling around we found this little creek that meandered its way through the mangrove so we just paddled on up and wondered how far we'd get and there was lots and lots of uh, little reef sharks and uh, mullet the whole little creek thing was only about 60 centimeters deep so we paddled up and eventually got to the end and I don't know you could have been anywhere in the world really you expect to see monkeys or baboons or something in the trees. It was so wild, so beautiful. Continuing our quest to get to the Southern Lao Group, after a couple of days at Mabatu Harbour, we made our way around to a little village called Sisui. Um, we stopped there, uh, I think for three days, we did diving and uh, swimming and meeting the local village and just generally having a lot of fun with the, all the people on this island. You know, the older women they don't have their menstruation, eh? and yes. it's not uh, it's not a problem for them. Yeah. <laughs> and the school girls they need this, eh? because sometimes they went they boarding. Ah, eh? oh, in Loma Loma. ah, they, yes, okay. They really need this. Yes, they might need an extra set actually, <laughs> mightn't they? <laughs> It took about a hundred days for girls kits to, from New Zealand over to Fiji and here at Susui I took to the chief's wife and left I don't know, about 60 kits with her for the women on the island. This is her kitchen, just behind 
find Bali cooking her lunch. Well, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? To go around with Jacob and have a look at the island. Let me show Jacob that little Oh, he's a big fish. Look at the fish he's got, Maggie. He's a good fisherman. We had a lovely afternoon chatting with the chief and the chief's wife and some kids that were there. We did uh, Suvu Suvu and we'd arranged um, for later that afternoon to come back ashore and the kids were going to take us for a guide over on to the other side of the island and look for shells. So we were hoping to find some nautilus shells but we didn't but we had a lot of fun. We'll just take one step back now and show you the trip we've been on. Jacques Costo Resort near Savu Savu and did a mixture of sailing and motoring to Viani Bay, then Kwamea Island on the north east of Tavuni and all the way down to Vanilla Balavu and uh, spent a day or so at Mbatu Bay and then sailed all the way down to Sasui Island where we had a couple of days. I guess should have been Flying over this area with the drone, you can just see how picturesque it, it is. It re really, really is beautiful. That we went, we did so much snorkeling here and some diving, and the snorkeling was wow. You know, you can just drop in the water there anywhere, and the coral and the fish and the soft corals and invertebrates. And, uh, it was. Oh, I don't know, I haven't got words for it. It was really, really beautiful. Turn the page and burn it. Let's make up a big bonfire on the beach with the stars as our lighter and throw our problems in the went diving with Keith and Renee on that bommy in the center of the screen and you know we just had a fabulous time there if you're ever wondering whether you should just leave your normal life at home and uh, jump in take that plunge buy a boat and uh, search out different places in the world just have a look at this footage and throw our problems in the flame throw our problems in the flame we fell down to the bottom so bottom up there we're gonna get over Problems in the 
One of the things we really enjoy traveling around the Pacific Islands is the interaction with the local communities. And on this occasion, the interaction with the children that um, took us for a walk through the forest and along the beach and just chatted about their general life on the island and what they liked and what they didn't like and what they wanted to be. It was really enjoyable. We walked along the beach with these lovely four girls. Um, the three youngest ones were quite light and playful and um, they're all helping us to look for nautilus shells. Um, the older one in the foreground was about 12 and she was quite ambitious for her life. She wanted to go to university and study something. And she lived with her father on the island and her mother lived in Suva where she worked and only came back about once every six months by boat to see her husband and daughter. So it was interesting to, to see that side of their lives. I really wish we could have captured all the laughing and giggling and fun these young girls were having. But our camera gear was playing up and um, didn't record properly. So you're just going to have to imagine. I'm sure you can see the giggling and fun they were having. And we were having a lovely time too. We were having little foot races and they were doing giant steps and jumping and climbing trees. And yeah, we had a lot of fun. The next day it was back in the water again and this time this reef was not very far from where we were anchored and there was a nice little current um, going along the face of it so we um, took our dinghy up and um, dropped off into the water and just did a drift snorkel for a, I don't know maybe a, a kilometre and it just 
went on and on and got better and better and better. You can see there's just hardly any damage, any bleaching, everything is just perfect. When you think about it, how would you like to have a front yard with a garden as beautiful as this? Wouldn't be too bad, would it? Have a look at these Christmas tree worms. The colours. That, it just doesn't look right, does it? It just looks like some kids got there with a bright coloured crayon and painted them. And as you got near them, they just tung, straight back into their little hole. They're so pretty. We haven't been able to properly identify this, but I think they were fish eggs. It looks like tiny fish inside.
these are pearl oysters. The inside colouring of them reminded me so much of Aboriginal rock art. <laughs> 